this idea of making this video about mountain biking and how it helped me and how it's helped me overcome some obstacles in my life and uh, I finally today just decided to sit down when I was taking a break and talk about it uh, you know I know it's pretty popular out there on the internet social media to talk about you know hey mountain biking or whatever you name it is this is what helped me and maybe it doesn't help you maybe maybe it will you know if this video finds one person and somebody says yeah that's pretty cool that'd be awesome you know um you know when i graduated college i fought a lot of depression anxiety and got diagnosed with the lights off three or four times for the fear of their own mortality or checks locks multiple times because things have to be just so and, and if you do I'm sorry I know what it's like it's tough but I just wanted to talk out here in the woods hopefully by myself hopefully nobody can hear me talk to the camera like a weirdo but it's it's been it's been tough, you know, and I'm 31 now. When I was about 28, 29, I was going through the pandemic and surfing on YouTube, and I saw Eric from BCPOV upload a video, and it just so happened uh, to pop up on my feed, and I watched it. I thought it was the coolest thing. You know, when I was a kid, I always rode bikes. I even raced BMX when I was a kid over in New Paltz, New York. It was pretty good, six in the state, and I just got away from it because most kids have interests in everything. want to just do what their friends are doing. And uh, I bought a hardtail, and I immediately fell in love with it. And <laughs> two bikes, three bikes later, you know, I can't not think about it. And there's there's something very uh, I don't want to say spiritual, but there's something very uh, calming about it that I've never gotten at anything else. You know, when it's me and the mountain, and the wind, and the trees, and the animals, and the, all that matters is the track in front of you, and for however long the descent is, or however long the climb is, or however long the trail is, that's all that matters. And I, I really, I really can't explain it other than that, and it's, you know, people who have obsessive compulsive disorder have a they have a problem with things being out of their control and they do these rituals and they have these thoughts because it makes them feel in control at least that's how it feels to me and when you're descending on a track or on a trail or it um you're in control and it all that matters is just what's in front of you. And it, it's, you know, obviously there's the, the health aspects of it, and yes, there's the injury risk. I mean, there's risk and injury in anything. You could throw your back out golfing or roll an ankle fishing or something like that, but I can't, I can't recommend it enough to anybody who's struggling with that or anything, you know. It's tough, you know, it's currently November 2023, and it's, you know, things sometimes seem bleak, sometimes things seem tough, and, you know, I understand that there's, you know, it's not cheap to ride a mountain bike, I get that, but there are very 
good entry level bikes and there's a lot of places where you can go and rent bikes for pretty cheap for the day and give it a try and second hand bikes and you know I, I for months at work before I go to bed I, I've kicked around the idea of having this deposition or this dialogue to camera by myself and I've not and I haven't done it only be only because I thought it would sound stupid and maybe I do but you know anybody who's struggling with these sort of things and you know I heard Bo Burnham once say it's it's hard to explain to people because they feel like it's anything they're going through it's only happening to them and for it is sort of true that your experience is unique to you but there are people to help you and there are things you can do to get out and you know and try to be better you know it's gotta it's gotta come from you and I would say to anybody who's having issues with depression, anxiety, having a tough time in their life, or specifically obsessive compulsive disorder, give it a try. There's there's nothing to lose. I just I just know for you know the five minutes or that I'm on a trail or the twenty minutes I'm on a climb. It's the only thing that matters is getting to the bottom or getting to the top and there's a there's a tunnel and it's the wind going through the helmet and you know the scenery blowing by you and it's like you take it all in at once but it's there but it's it all matters but it's also you're just one with the mountain you know and it's it's unbelievable I, I it, it, it's I can't explain it enough, and I can't recommend it enough. It's helped me. Maybe it'll help you. I hope it does. And I hope if this video or if it ever gets it sees the light of day, I hope one person can say, you know what, maybe I'll give it a try like Eric did. Help me for BCPOV. You know, he was, without that video, I might, might be just still sitting wallowing in my own self-pity. And uh, I've met some great people. Everybody I've met riding the bike has been awesome, especially shout out to Andre, to Jake, to Pete. Those guys are great. Been nothing but supportive. Um, giving me something to look forward to during the week. I guess lastly, I just want to say, as much as it feels like you might be alone, you're not. And maybe people don't understand how you feel or what you're going through in the moment. You've got to try. Try something. You know, it doesn't even have to be riding a bike. For me, that's what it was best. Maybe you like hiking. Maybe you like disc golf. If those moments where you are out there, it's just... Time stands still. It's just you in the moment there. And you have control and it helps. Obviously, professional help medicine, things like that, that all, that all helps, it all should be a part of it, but, I don't know, I guess the last thing, and the most important thing is, is, there's nothing to lose, it's helped, it's helped me, and I, and I hope, I hope it helps you.